hello guys so last session we saw how to set up the rabbitmq server so rabbitmq server helps you to uh, do uh, like uh, transfer the messages it's kind of message broker so uh, today we're going to see uh, uh, deep uh, about the rabbit uh, mq how to use in your application so here i am showing you tutorial uh, in shisha project and i am using the console application so i going to set up the two environment one is the uh, producer and another is a consumer so producer is uh, who is uh, going to send the message and uh, consumer is who going to receive the message shortly i will tell you what's a uh, mean by rabbitmq so rabbitmq is a message broker it's accepts and forward the message you think about it's like a post office when you put the mail that uh, you put post into the post box so you can be sure that mr uh, mr uh, uh, person mail person should eventually receive okay it should be uh, uh, received that's what uh, the post office will do right the same thing um, rabbit mq will do so here uh, you put uh, is a producer so this guy so he uh, uh, send the message it will be uh, added in the queue this is the uh, queue is a broker queue so it will added in the queue okay so eventually the consumer will uh, receive uh, from the another end uh, by the queue it's it's a single queue so uh, if i put uh, the mail the message here so eventually it will uh, uh, deliver uh, by the queue system so that's a generally rabbit mq uh, will work so let's go and see in a program how to uh, send the message and how to receive the message so for that we are going to set up the two console application one is the sender and the receiver so let's uh, go to the command prompt let me uh, go and uh, create uh, the two uh, console application Okay, let's call it uh, name as uh, okay kind of sent okay so I'm just okay sorry new console. Okay, uh, then just change the directory to send folder. So it's uh, created in my project. Okay, so that's all fine now. Here uh, I'm going to um, add the Rabbit MQ client. So it will install uh, me the package rabbitmq okay so finally i do a dot net okay restore okay so uh, my center is uh, ready now okay so let's uh, uh, go and uh, uh, create uh, even the receiver also so here this is my center project let's uh, go and uh, create my receiver end as well okay let's start create receive
okay then we'll um, add a rapid mq client there as well so finally do a um, dot net restore okay oops uh, there is a problem yeah so i got it uh, so let's go and cd okay so here i uh, need to add a client okay then do dot net uh, restore okay so all com completed successfully so let's um, go and write uh, our uh, logic here so let's I uh, start a uh, sync project in Visual Studio okay so my dependency also added here so I have you all fine success okay let's uh, rename this to some yeah call it uh, okay fine uh, so it's fine so it's defaults created me the hello world application so let's remove this okay and yeah so let's uh, include the namespace uh, rabbitmq client okay so let's uh, start uh, writing our logic so first uh, we need to uh, set up the factory okay so uh, so here uh, we need to um, get the factory so connection factory we need to get it okay so here I hosted uh, into the uh, local so I will give the uh, name as so yeah default uh, it's uh, hosted host name is the localhost so let's uh, give the host name local host okay okay cool so next uh, I going to uh, create the connection so by using so to dispose this connection so I am using this okay so web connection equal to uh, the factory dot create connection so this will uh, create me the new connection then I going to uh, create the new channel okay so once the connection is uh, open so start uh, create the new channel to do uh, okay so so connection is uh, ready then um, so I am creating the new channel so this will uh, uh, create me the new channel okay let's uh, 
let's assign the uh, queue name and uh, the message and uh, and publish those message into the queue okay so let's start uh, doing this okay now my uh, what i did uh, so far is so i just uh, get my factory connection so then i created the new connection so then i start uh, building the new channel uh, to push the message so for this we need to set up few parameters so we need to first declare the queue okay so let's start do that channel dot okay queue declare so here it expect me the um, queue name and yeah and the default we can keep it to durable false exclusive so false and auto delete um, should be false we should keep auto delete false so until the receive uh, receiver should be uh, and we can dispose it and we no need to keep any argument uh, so we can keep it null there so let's start um, uh, q uh, start set the queue name okay uh, what we call it uh, queue name is okay okay uh, go free launcher so my queue name is go free launcher and i set the durable yes as it is the false so i let's keep the durable false and exclusive also the false 